Good morning, Glencliff, or good afternoon whenever you're watching this video. I hope it finds you well. My name's Nicole, I'm one of the pastors, and I'm just so glad to share these few minutes with you today. Let's get started. We have some announcements to keep you updated throughout the week. A new session of our Wednesday meditations begins on February 3rd. We'd love for you to join us. We've been going every Wednesday night since the beginning of December, and it includes breath prayer, aromatherapy, yoga, journaling. It's just a great time to take a breath and a calming way to end the day. This Tuesday, January 26th, is the last day for registration, which is required for the sessions. So see our Facebook page to sign up. We are also joining Belmont United Methodist Church on Sunday mornings for worship. It begins at 1030 on Facebook. You can find the service linked on our page, or you can stay with us on Zoom after our Sunday morning gathering to worship with your Glencliff friends. We do have a birthday to celebrate this week. It's Joy's birthday on January 30th. If you are starting a new year of life, we want you to know that we're celebrating with you too. We're also continuing our tithes and offerings in this season. So if you would like to give and feel called to give, you can give at the Glencliff, Glencliff Facebook page or mail in a check to 2901 Glencliff Road in Nashville. Let's pray for these gifts. God, we know that you will bless these gifts that are shared with your church and the community. May we use a portion of what you have given us to continue your work in our world. Amen. We'll also have prayer requests and updates on our Facebook page uh, in the private group so that you can stay up to date and know what's going on with others in the church. So be on the lookout to see those and join us in prayer. Today I have a prayer to share with you from Desmond Tutu. So let's pray. Disturb us, O oh Lord, when we are too well pleased with ourselves. When our dreams have become true because we dreamed too little. Because we sailed too close to the shore. Disturb us, O oh Lord, when the abundance of things we possess. We have lost our thirst for the water of life when... Having fallen in love with time, we have ceased to dream of eternity. And in our efforts to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of heaven to grow dim. Stir us, O oh Lord, to dare more boldly. To venture into wider seas where storms show thy mastery. We're losing sight of land we shall find the stars. In the name of God, who pushed back the horizons of our hopes and invited the brave to follow. Amen. So each week on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m., we'll be starting our Sunday gathering with a coffee time, and then at 9.30, we'll start our conversation about how justice and faith are at work together in our lives and in the Word of God. This week, we're talking about how God's love and grace and compassion are so much greater than we could even imagine. We're focusing on Mark 1, 14 through 20, 
where God calls us, or, God, or Jesus calls his disciples to fish for people. And this week we're exploring what that means in terms of how we take the example of God's love, grace, and compassion that we're given and use what we've learned to share it with others. Some questions we'll be asking is, how is God calling us to advocacy? How is God asking us to join in God's work for a more loving and inclusive world? These are all questions we'll be wrestling with this week, and I hope you'll join us. Your pastors care for you deeply and are praying for you throughout this week. Go in peace.